I'm such a procrastinator, you guys. Here's a better angle. Um, uh, hi, I'm back. I just wanted to get on here, film a little video, make a little vlog, post something, and let you guys know where I've been, what I've been doing, how come I haven't been posting on YouTube at all, and just update you guys on life and where I'm at, what I've been up to, and why I've been gone. And I feel like I just repeated myself. But anyways, if you are interested, if you care at all, if you're curious as to why I've been gone so long and why I just abruptly stopped posting on YouTube, then definitely stay tuned. Here's a really bad angle of myself. Here's a better angle. Okay. Look, I'm gonna get up and stand in better lighting and show you guys, wow, how much better you can look when lighting is good. Anyways, I need to get dressed really quick. Um, I'm gonna put on a cute little yellow dress, but I gotta find it. Hold on, let me show you this. I never unpack right after getting back from a trip. I went to Vegas last week. Yes, I went to Vegas in the middle of a global pandemic. Don't at me, don't come for me, mind your own business, stay in your own lane. I wore a mask. Anyways, I went to Vegas last week and I got back on Wednesday. Today is Wednesday, so it's been one whole week and my suitcase still looks like this. I saw a meme once that said, you are a psychopath if you unpack the day after a trip or something like that. If you've seen that meme, you know how funny it is. But anyways, who else is like me and just lives out of a suitcase even after your trip? Cause that's me. I gotta clean the lens. I'm filming with my iPhone today because I'm so over like, being all professional and like having professional production stresses, you know what I mean? So like, I'm just gonna film with my iPhone and I feel like it's more genuine and more real anyways. I'm still gonna do like professional produced videos like I do with like makeup and stuff, but today for a vlog, no. I'm gonna film with my iPhone. I found my dress. How cute is this, right? Wow. Look at my view, you guys. If you guys have been following me for a while or if you follow me on Instagram, you already know that I have this view outside my backyard, this view from my house. I feel so blessed to have this view. It's gorgeous. I can see all the way to LA. On a clear day, you can see downtown LA over there in that area. But yeah, so pretty. This is a view from my house. I told you it's gonna be super real and raw. Okay, so anyways, I haven't posted on YouTube in over a month and it's just because the world has been super fucking crazy lately, let alone, you know, if you've been following me for a while, especially on Instagram, then you already know what I went through last year. Last year, October 2019, um, in a matter of two weeks, I went through a really difficult breakup with someone that was, that I was once like engaged to and we, my fucking name is tattooed on this person's face. We had a serious relationship, okay, and then we broke up. So obviously if you've ever experienced true love or a breakup, they know how hard it is. So in a matter of two weeks, I had a rough breakup and then he died, okay? So I know that sounds so crazy coming out of my mouth, but there's no, that was like a nervous laugh because there's no other way to put that. It's as crazy as it fucking sounds. Okay, so that was October, 2019. So it's barely been like eight months. Obviously I'm still healing from that. That was the most, absolutely 100% the most traumatizing situation I've ever been through. So, um, Fast forward to now, like in between now and then, life has been so fucking crazy, as you guys know, with like coronavirus and all the Black Lives Matter stuff and like, oh my God, just life has been insane. Plus, um, 
parents, you can relate. I have a nine-year-old daughter, so being a parent, especially a single parent, is crazy in itself. Just life has been fucking crazy for me, okay? So <laughs> I needed to take a break because filming YouTube content is a lot of work and I just haven't been in the right mindset, I guess, to film YouTube content. So I decided to take a little break. It's been about a month since I posted anything, but now I'm back. And um, I was posting like vlogs during the beginning of this coronavirus pandemic, like when we were all like hardcore quarantining. I was posting vlogs showing you guys like what I was up to and stuff. The one thing that I have consistently done this whole time is exercise. So I'm really happy about that because my body is banging. Um, I feel good. I look good. Um, so I've really been focusing on like self-care, health, things that will benefit me and my mental health. So I have consistently exercised. That's what I've been doing while, since I'm not, you know, I'm updating you guys. I've been consistently exercising. I've obviously been spending the majority of my time at home. Granted, I did go to Las Vegas last week. Um, I was allowed to, you know, they're open, <laughs> they're taking reservations. So I did go to Las Vegas last week. Um, obviously we're still kind of quarantining. We, I live in Orange County. We're allowed to go out. Masks are mandatory. They were also mandatory in Las Vegas, if you're wondering. So, um, you know, restaurants are open. I don't think bars are open right now. I don't know. I'm, I haven't watched the news in a few days, but I don't think bars are open, but I'm pretty sure restaurants are open. So, you know, we can do more now. Um, but we are still in the middle of a global pandemic, so things are still limited. But um, for the most part, I've just been at home, focusing on my daughter, of course, my number one priority, focusing on myself, exercising, trying to eat healthy most of the time. Also, um, if you don't already know, I launched an online boutique. That's where this dress is from. Hannah X um, is my shop my brand um so a lot of work has gone into that obviously that's been a full-on learning curve you know from ordering product and being a legit business and starting my website marketing social media all of it has been and is still a huge learning curve for me so that's been super exciting, but I did announce last week that I launched my online boutique. So if you follow me on Instagram, you already know. And if you don't, now you know, I launched an online clothing boutique. Definitely go check it out. Um, you can check us out on Instagram at shophannahx, or you can check out our website, shophannahx.com. Definitely go check it out. Um, if you want to support me, you can support me in so many different ways. You don't necessarily have to buy something. You can follow me, follow Shop Hannah X on Instagram, um, like our pictures, repost us on your story, tell your friends, tell your family, um, or you can buy something because obviously that's another way to support me. So um, yeah, and thank you to those of you who have already made a purchase. I appreciate it so freaking much. You have no idea. And also to those of you who have reached out to me, commented, DM, text me, called me, whatever. I appreciate all the love and support. Seriously, I appreciate it so much from the bottom of my heart. So I have been working on my online boutique. So that's been uh, time consuming and super fun. And I'm no longer homeschooling because we're done. I'm so shocked that Zoe's third grade, the majority of her third grade was done at home and that I was her teacher, that's crazy. Um, but she's done with third grade and she's now technically on summer break. So I'm not homeschooling anymore, yay. <laughs> that was super stressful and not something I ever thought or really wanted to do um, so yeah just been focusing on being gentle to myself not sometimes I'm hard on myself if I'm not like posting YouTube stuff consistently and consistently on Instagram and da 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 because if you're not consistent then 
your engagement goes down a lot, which sucks, but I just haven't been able to do it. So I've been focusing on other things like just my mental health and my physical health and my daughter and my new business venture. But I'm ready to be back on YouTube and that's the whole point in posting this video is to like reintroduce myself, let you guys know where I've been, what I've been up to, why I haven't posted in so long. And this is like my comeback, you guys. So hopefully I am more consistent now that I'm feeling better. And yeah. Oh my god, I also forgot to mention that we remodeled our kitchen. Oopsie, lighting, I swear. We're gonna stand here for a moment. Uh, here, this is where we're standing. Yes. Um, anyways, during this pandemic and this quarantine, we remodeled the kitchen, which I briefly touched on in a different vlog. I don't remember which one but um we're done we got all new appliances and we are just done we painted we fixed the little hole in the tiles uh because there was missing tiles after we took out the cabinets we took out the cabinets and the last step was getting all new appliances they came slowly but surely because of finances but um, the last one to come was the oven and it just came on Friday, so not even a week ago. So now I can show you the finished product. The kitchen's a little dirty, but I'm gonna show you anyways. Ta-da! So the cabinets used to be here on this wall and so did the fridge. And when we removed the cabinets, this um there's no tile here so i know it doesn't match okay but this is temporary because eventually we're gonna get new flooring but um we did fill it in temporarily with the leftover tiles that were here we got a new fridge right there love it all the cabinets are painted there's the new oven wow amazing we already had that microwave and then we also got a new pan cute um oh we got a new faucet yes got a new coffee maker yes girl and we also got a new dishwasher so yeah the kitchen is finally done so not only have we worked on the kitchen okay the beginning of quarantine i finished my room which i'm still have to edit and do that whole video of my room makeover show you the before and after but i did my room we did the kitchen and now i'm starting to work on my daughter's room which i will show you where i'm at right now i just started yesterday so i'm nowhere near done but i will show you right now what i'm working with her toys like in the hallway um her room is a mess see we need new carpeting we need new flooring our carpets gross her room is an absolute disaster you guys like this child has literally every freaking toy you can ever want and i actually had to move all of the toys and clothes that were in her closet um out so that's why there's like more junk than usual but um, anyways, I bought a whole new closet system from Ikea and the first step was to obviously take everything out of the closet and paint it. So that's the color we're going with, the color that's inside the closet. It's Mocha Light um, from Bear, I guess. Um, eggshell finish. It's the same color I did my bedroom, but she doesn't want these colors anymore. She has pink and um, brown. She wants like a lighter color. So because I had the leftover paint, I'm just gonna do her room the same color as my room. And um, last night I took out everything from the closet and painted the closet area. So that's where I'm at. Obviously the next step would be to build the new closet system, which I'm gonna do tonight, and then put everything back in and then I can start working on the rest of this crazy, crazy, crazy room oh my god so many toys does anyone want some toys so anyways now i can end this video that's what i've been up to during this whole quarantine and that's why i haven't been posting on youtube because i've just been busy focusing on myself 
my mental health, my physical health, my daughter, my family, home DIY renovations, all that stuff. I just haven't really been in the right mindset to focus on YouTube and creating content, but I am ready to come back now. So um, now that I've updated you guys on my whereabouts, now you know, now hopefully I will be more consistent and start posting regularly again on YouTube. So if you've missed me and you like this little update, then definitely give this video a thumbs up. Come say what's up to me in the comment section. Let me know what you guys have been up to, how you've been doing, how you've been holding up. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, drink your water. Mwah.